Welcome to All Hands Update. I'm Petty Officer Tony Rosa with your headlines from around the fleet. It's day four of the government shutdown. Secretary of Defense Chuck Hagel said the Defense Department will still carry out its mission despite the government shutdown. Hagel issued a statement reaffirming the department's commitment to national security and plans to meet with Pentagon leaders to discuss manning levels. Although the shutdown affects missions around the world such as ship maintenance, equipment upgrades and deployment schedules, Hagel said the core missions will still be carried out. Secretary of the Navy Ray Mavis also addressed concerns about the government shutdown. Today, without an appropriations bill or a continuing resolution, we continue to endure a government shutdown. I know that many members of our civilian workforce will be forced to endure additional hardships on top of the furloughs earlier this year. For many of you working at the Washington Navy Yard, this also comes on the heels of the traumatic shooting there. During these difficult days, your unwavering sense of duty pays tribute to our shared legacy of honor, courage, and commitment. You are integral members of our Navy Marine Corps family. As family, I want you to rest assured that we will work closely to support you during this period. We'll provide you with timely information as this process unfolds and we'll continue to stress to the decision makers the adverse impact that a government shutdown has on our country, on you, and your families. The Office of Civilian Human Resources provides guidance, fact sheets, answers to frequently asked questions, and information on the Department of the Navy website. We will continue to update the relevant information there throughout the furlough. I also encourage you to take advantage of the financial and other counseling services which are available through your Civilian Employee Assistance Program. As we work through the difficult days ahead, I want to thank you for your hard work, your dedication, and your patience. Your teammates in uniform and I truly appreciate your service during these difficult times. I am extremely proud of the work that you do on behalf of our sailors, Marines, their families, and the rest of the nation. Over the last several months, you have all proven that you are Semper Fortis and Semper Fidelis, always courageous and always faithful. You can read more about these stories at Navy.mil. From All Hands Update, thanks for watching.